my logic can still serve me well. We've done lots of puzzle videos on the channel before, puzzle games. I'm sure we should be okay at this. And if you guys don't know how to play Cluedo, well, you'll kind of learn it with us as we go. Because it is, you know, you kind of learn it as you play. And, um, long story short, there's a random person and a random weapon and a random room um, that we have to, or, yeah, as you can see on the right, we have to work out some sort of murder, uh, murder mystery. And we have to work out who the suspect is, with what weapon, and with what room they did it in. And we can learn clues from going to the rooms and uh, looking at other players' cards. So we get some set cards, and it'll all make sense the more the more we play. But as you can see, who killed Dr. Black? So unfortunately, Dr. Black has died. To win the game, we must find out who killed Dr. Black with what weapon. And where and as you can see a random suspect weapon and room card will be secretly added to the envelope these are the murder cards okay so a random one from each pile has been added in and uh, the rest of the cards will be dealt out among the players basically and um, as you can see on the right these are the different suspects, the different weapons, and the different rooms that we have to try and work out between which one it is. So, let's get our cards. We have five cards here. And this determines who goes first. And first up is Colonel Mustard, I believe. And this is all gone pretty quick, but he rolled a six. And he's gone into... What room's this? Mustard suggests it was Peacock with the revolver in the ballroom. Okay, so right, let's let's get things let's get things set. Okay, so we have scored out our own cards because we know that we've got them so they're not in the envelope. Now Mustard rolled a six and went into this room here. I can't work out what room this is. Um, or it must be the ballroom, because whatever room you're in, that's what you have to, um, that's the room that you say it's in. So, to win the game, you actually have to go to the room that you think the murder happened in. So, Mustard thinks it was in the ballroom, and it was Mrs. Peacock with the revolver. No. Orchid showed, showed Mustard a card. So that means she either showed him the peacock, the revolver, or the ballroom. So as you can see, peacock, it could be that one. We can put, oh my goodness, what is this scoring system, or what is this? Okay, so we know that Orchid has one of these three cards, okay. One of these ones here, either ballroom, revolver, or peacock so we can signify this with one of these symbols now let's go with i guess question mark because we don't really know if it is one of these ones so we'll put question marks oh let's put question mark and question mark so it could be one of them could be one of those three. I think. Is that is that the scoring thing or the the sig what we should use to signify it? I don't even know at this rate. Looks good to me. Let's continue. How do we continue? Do I look at oh continue. There we go. We'll put my cards away. We shall continue. Um or should I put a little number to say that they might have that card? So, Orchid is player 2. Let's put a number 2 to signify that Orchid may have one of those ones. I think that's a good a good thing to do, right? Or do the numbers signify how many times it's been asked? 
I don't know, let's just continue. We're never gonna make any progress at this rate. Up next is Orchid, and she rolls a six. And is she gonna go to the ballroom too? She is. And she is going to assume it was Reverend Green with the wrench in the ballroom. Now she asked Peacock who showed her one of the cards. So now what we can do, I mean, we know it's not green. So we know that Peacock either showed her the wrench or the ballroom. Um, and Peacock is player three in our case, so we'll put a little three in both of them. That looks good to me. So we need to try and we can maybe, if we can get to a room, we can maybe assume it was the wrench and in a room that we know it's not in. So for example, we could move to the dining room, assume that it was green and um, say it was with the wrench. And if we ask Peacock and she doesn't show us anything, then that would mean that she didn't show the wrench, if that makes sense. So that can be how we can work out that she didn't show the ballroom right here. If that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. That's the tactic I want to go with. And uh, speaking of which, it's Peacock's turn. So she rolls, wow, a six as well. She decides to go to the billiard room. Okay. And she suggests it was Professor Plum with the wrench in the billiard room. And she asked Colonel Mustard who showed her a card. Now one thing I noticed, Peacock was in the ballroom before her turn started. So I think if you get summoned to a room, then um, that means that's where you start from for your next go. So let's quickly mark. Oh wait, these are for each column. Oh, so I didn't need to do a two there because that's there's columns for different people. I mean, let's just keep going with the system that I've got because it makes sense to us, right? Okay, so... So Mustard might have shown the ranch here, might have shown the billiard room, or might have shown Professor Blum, which is interesting. I also love the, the sort of background sounds on this. This is so nice. Let's continue. Oh boy. I have... Oh. Yeah, that, there we go. It literally just pointed out what I just said about it um, moving us to the room in question. But what I was going to say is I have no idea how long this video is going to turn out. But however long it is, I hope you guys do enjoy the dingles and enjoy the relaxation. And just enjoy the video in general. So... I think we're starting from the middle. We've not been assumed anywhere, have we? Oh, we have. We have. We've been as we've been assumed just there, didn't we? In the billiard room. So we're in the billiard room. Let's roll the dice. The billiard, billiard. Why? Why does everyone roll sixes? <laughs> so the rooms we can go to are the ballroom, the billiard room, the conservatory, or the library. Which one do we want to go to? We could go to the billiard room and find out if Mustard had that there. I think maybe that would be a good idea. Let's just stay in the billiard room. This might not be the right tactic, I don't even know. But we'll stay in the billiard room. Oh, I maybe should have gone to a different room actually to work out the card because I, I don't know I don't know I think I think this should be okay so let's make our suggestion let's say it was with green because we know it's not green we want to find out if it's in the billiard room so we want to do let's say the dagger because we know it's not the dagger and we're gonna suggest it to mustard and mustard showed us Oh, it goes round in a circle, so we can, can we only ask Mustard? I don't know. Maybe we can only ever ask Mustard, I'm not sure. Now he showed us the billiard room, which is interesting. So we know it's not the billiard room. 
but he still could have showed the wrench or plum on his previous turn, which is interesting. Okay. Oh no, all my logic is kind of just, you know, going out, out my head, out my head. <laughs> okay. If no one has the guard, it must be involved in the murder. Oh, okay. So why did Orchid not have any of the guards? And Peacock didn't have any of those guards? That's interesting. Okay. Unless I'm being an idiot, but we'll just continue. And we'll end our turn. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of comments from you guys, you know, telling me the best tactics to play this game and things like that. And I'm I'm very open to, to read your comments. But unfortunately I won't be able to involve them in this video. So, okay, so Peacock showed mustard. Either the wrench or the conservatory because we know it's not green. Now, we already thought that Peacock had the wrench, but we're not sure about the conservatory. It's also put in X's where people don't have the cards, so that's nice. That's very nice. So, Peacock might have shown the conservatory, might have shown the wrench here. We don't know which one. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's just rapid fire go through these rounds and mark in our numbers. Orchid gets a 7 as well, goes to the conservatory, which we think Peacock might have. And she said Plum with the rope. Now she could have shown her any of those three, we have no idea. We have absolutely no idea. I would hope it would be the conservatory. We're now in the conservatory, by the way. <laughs> um, and it's Peacock's turn. And she gets a six and goes to the library. Okay, that's a room no one's been in yet. She says, Miss Scarlet with the rope. And Mustard showed one. So Mustard either, Mustard either showed Scarlet or the rope. Now I think if we can work out If we can work out if, oh, maybe I did these numbers in the wrong way that I, sh I shouldn't have done it like this. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know if I did my sort of note system in the best format for you guys. Because I was going to say, if we can work out if Miss Scarlet showed the rope right here, then that would mean that Mustard didn't show the rope on a previous turn, but I have no idea which other one he might have shown, that's the thing. At the same time that he got asked the one about the rope, if that makes sense. So I maybe should have marked that with a 1, and then the next one with a 2, the next one with a 3, ah, okay. That's annoying that I didn't do that. Do I just start that from here on out then? Do I get rid of my notes and redo it? Maybe. Maybe, because I feel it might be better for us. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the notes. I am very sorry, guys. But this will make more sense now. So, that might have put us at a little bit of a disadvantage, but don't worry. We'll bring it back. Oops. Um bring it back. So, Mustard has either shown Miss Scarlet, a, a Peacock, sorry, Scarlet, Rope, or Library. So what we do is we put a 1 for Scarlet, Rope, and Library, and then the next time he gets asked uh, a question, we mark that with a 2, to mark that it was on a different turn. Okay. My bad, guys. My bad. I didn't think about that at all. The rooms in the corners have secret passages to the room on the opposite side of the mansion. That's cool. I remember that. I remember that from the board game. 
So it's our turn, and I don't know if we want to keep going with the strategy of, you know, doing things that we've already, we know it's not. We get a nine. So like my thinking would be, you know, go to let's say the lounge because we know it's not in the lounge. Assume the dagger maybe again. And we're gonna get mustard, aren't we? Next. So we wanna try and do something completely random. So let's do dagger. Oh, we have to do person first. Let's do, why not, peacock. Mm. To find out who's got the peacock card, and again, say the dagger. So our kid is of course gonna show us peacock, so we now know peacock is um, not involved in the murder, so that scores off a person on our list. Nice, okay. I don't know if I'm playing this the right way I should be, but that's what we're gonna go with, guys. <laughs> right. Mustard is taking the secret passage. A secret, a secret to the lounge. That's where we are right now. He's gonna say it's Reverend Green, which we know it isn't. With the rope. And we know it's not in the lounge. So therefore, we know the orchid showed the rope, right? Because we know it's not the lounge. We know it's not green. So we can mark rope off the list like that, surely. That's what we want to do. And then we can get rid of that number one. So now we know that mustard either showed scarlet or library on that previous turn. So we're narrowing it down and I think this is definitely how I should have played it from the get-go. But I just, I just didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Okay. Orchid rolls an eight. I think we got pretty lucky with that accusation right there from um, Mustard. And we're in the lounge again. Reverend Green. We're about to find out if it's the lead pipe. Peacock has the lead pipe. Let's go. Green. And lounge again, right? So we can score that out. Yep. That's good. That's very good for us. Let's continue. Let's continue. We've nearly worked out what um, weapon it was, which is cool. It's either the wrench, the revolver, or the candlestick. Lounge again. Scarlet this time, and rope. Oh, and they asked us. Damn it. We have to show the lounge, unfortunately. I was hoping they would um, get someone else. When you make a suggestion in a room, you cannot stay there next turn. You must move on. Okay. Okay, so I think we have to move from our current room. So we'll roll the dice. And where do we want to go? Honestly, maybe to the dining room, because we know it's not the dining room. Uh, dining room. And we can assume, let's say, the dagger, because we've got the dagger. And this time, we'll try and find out another person. So, let's find out if it was Orchid. Why not? Or actually, I should do Scarlet. Scarlet with the dagger. The reason I do this is we now find out if Mustard showed Scarlet on that turn earlier. He didn't. Wait, he doesn't have Scarlet. But, yes, see, I'm getting the hang of it now, guys. I'm getting the hang of it. Because we know that Orchid has Scarlet. So that's crossed off our list now. We can get rid of that little one. So now we know that Mustard must have shown Library on that previous turn. This is good. This is good, guys. We're making big progress here. Let's end our turn. We need to be very careful when we make our accusation because you only get to make one final accusation. And if it's right, you win. And if it's wrong, you lose.
Mustard's in the study. He says it's green, which we know it isn't. We know it's not the study. Oh, but we have to show him the study. That's frustrating. I was hoping it would um, go to someone else and we'd find out if it was the revolver or not. Um, I don't know why there's X's in here. Wait. Does that mean that Mustard has the revolver? Hold on. Mustard must have the revolver, right? Right, let's just show Orchid the dining room. And... We n wait, is that... Okay. I guess. I guess that means that, right? I should have noticed that earlier, maybe. Um, let's continue. Hopefully we're doing well. We nearly know which weapon it was, which is good. We can maybe work out on this next turn, actually. And we're close to getting the suspect, and also not far off working out what room it's in, so... Green dining room rope. We know it's none of them. We have to show one. I'm gonna do the dining room. I'm gonna keep Reverend Green a secret. Because people keep accusing him. So I'm gonna keep Green a secret. And it's on to us now, Professor Plum. We are going to roll a... Six. Another six, six, six. Where do we want to go? Uh, the lounge. Do we have the lounge? We do. So let's go to the lounge. Um, let's again go with our, um, let's go with our old dagger situation. Let's see if it's Plum. Let's find out if it's me. And we'll ask about, so this is where I put in dagger, right? Wait, no, we want to work out what weapon it is. Can I change the person? If we do the person as green. We've got two things that we have. So now we go branch, right? Or candlestick. Let's do candlestick. And this will find out if candlestick is the weapon. Okay, so no one had candlestick. So that means candlestick is the weapon. So we'll circle that. But I think that also gives it away to everyone else that it is the candlestick. So that was, I don't know, maybe not the greatest idea. I should have gone for wrench, maybe. Eek. I should have gone for wrench, shouldn't I? That was stupid, but oh well. We've sussed out one thing. That's that's a plus. That's a plus for us. That rhymed. Okay, in the hall. We have no idea if it's the hall yet. We've worked out nothing. He's saying green again with the revolver. We know it's not the revolver. And Orchid showed mustard one of them. So... She doesn't have the revolver, she doesn't have green, so she must have shown him the all. Right. Yeah, because we know that Mustard has the revolver. Okay. People keep accusing green. Maybe that means they know that it's green. Or, or they don't know if it's green, I don't know. Or they know, they know green's not it, I don't know. Right, on the ballroom again. We... We would have known something about the ballroom, but we don't anymore because I got rid of my notes. Green with the rope. Damn it, guys, we finally have to show Orchid that it was green. That it wasn't green, sorry. That's a big giveaway. Okay, so... Zendaya's turn. <laughs> She rolls a six, goes to the all. We know that Orchid has the all. Green. Revolver. Um. Why have I not scored at rope? Should I have scored at rope? I can't remember if I should have scored at rope or not. 
I should have scored at rope. Yeah, I should score. I, I don't know why that I, that's taken me ages to function. <laughs> that that should be scored out. So we have to show green again, unfortunately, and continue. We're about to work out what room it is, I think, maybe. So let's try and go to either the ballroom, the conservatory. Yeah, ballroom or conservatory would be perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, conservatory. Nice, we'll go there. And, um, let's do it with the dagger. And let's think about this. So, we know that Orchid doesn't have conservatory. So one of these two guys have conservatory or it's involved. We know that Mustard doesn't have Scarlet, but Orchid does. So if we said Scarlet, we'd probably get showed Scarlet. We don't want to do that. So let's do a person that we have. Let's do green. And again, we'll just do dagger. And this will find out something about. Okay. So peacock obviously has conservatory. So we can score that off. And now we know. Wait, one other thing we've noticed is everyone gets five cards. And we know that Orchid has one, two, three, these three, so she has two left. I don't know if I can use that, but either way, we know it's not the conservatory. We've narrowed it down to two rooms and three potential people. So things are looking good, and I'm just worried that someone else might make a successful accusation before us because we got rid of our... Um, our previous notes. Now Peacock obviously showed the kitchen here. We know this because we have green and dagger. So she must have showed the kitchen. So she has kitchen. So it's not kitchen. So we now know it's the ballroom. Okay. <laughs> this is getting exciting. Because now it's either plum, orchid, or mustard. With the candlestick in the ballroom. Okay, so does that mean we want to go to start to head towards that room and try and work out if it was which one of those people? I would guess so, right? Um, okay, plum dagger, billiard room. We have to show dagger, unfortunately. But wait, we can actually work stuff out from this. I don't know why I was doing this. Whose turn was that? Orchid. So we know the Orchid doesn't have plum. Oh yeah, it's done that for us automatically. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. Wait, and don't we also know the Orchid doesn't have plum? Or no, maybe, she, no, she could have plum, she could have plum. Right, Peacock says Scarlet in the study with the revolver. We have to show the study. It's fine though, because we know it's in the ballroom. Unless I've made a mistake. I really hope I've not made a mistake, guys. It's our go now. We want to try and get to the ballroom. We're pretty close to it. So we'll head to the ballroom. We can get there nice and easily. We'll say candlestick and why not? We'll throw ourselves under the bus, <laughs> suggest it was us, and find out if anyone has. Okay, so Mustard obviously has Plum here. So, oh my goodness, we know it is either Orchid or Mustard with the candlestick in the ballroom. And we have to end our turn, so on our next turn we can pretty much work out who it was but we have to go to another room first so we have to go to another room to try and work out who it was with what and where so I think we can pretty much just ignore everything that's going on um, because we, we only want ones that involve people at the moment really people that we know it could could potentially be 
Okay, so green we know it's not. Orchid rolls a five, ghost library, come on. Please say it was either mustard or orchid. Gosh damn it. We know it's not plum. So mustard shows orchid plum. Um, or potentially the revolver. You never know what you chose to go with. We'll end that off. Wait, I have circled that it's the ballroom. But I haven't scored it library. My memory is deceiving me. Why have I circled ballroom? Why did I do it again? I'm gonna quickly check back in my recording why I did this. Okay guys, so I did a little bit of looking back in my videos and we scored at library because we worked out something with uh, Colonel Mustard earlier that he had a different thing. I just need to trust myself. I need to trust myself. Let's continue. Let's continue. I don't know why it came like unscored. I don't think it should have. Um, we roll a nine. So let's go to a room that we have. What are four rooms we have? Study, lounge, dining room. We can go study because we know we're not going to get shown that. And we're going to say it was with the dagger. And we're going to work out now who it was by suggesting that it's Orchid. And we know it's Orchid. Okay. So, we will continue and we'll end our turn. But, guys, this does mean on our next turn we can make an accusation that fingers crossed we hope is right. And potentially, potentially we will um, be able to win the game. I really hope so. Um, I don't know what these numbers here mean underneath each person. Maybe that's got something to do with how much they know. Not really too sure, but we now know it was Orchid with the candlestick in the ballroom. So we gotta try and get to the ballroom on our next go, and if we can, then that's a bit unlucky because you have to make your final assumption in the room. You think it was. So we're just gonna have to keep running this through basically. And hopefully we can get there before someone else. That is the hope. Study. So every time another player goes to a room that's not the, the ballroom, we're lucky because we know they're not making an accusation. Or not making a correct one anyways. Wow, this has actually been so much fun. I've had a lot of fun playing this. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Here we go. Moment of truth. Can we get to the ballroom? We can. Okay, I think we are. Hopefully about to win. I hope so. So we think it was Orchid. With the candlestick, right? Now, if this works correctly, when we suggest here, no one should show us anything. Otherwise, it's throwing a spanner in the works. But let's find out. Perfect. 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 So, no one has these cards. They must all be involved in the murder. You're ready to make the final accusation. Let's make the final accusation. Professor Plum is going to make an accusation. I think it was Orchid. And she was out with everyone on, on a family gather, a, a high school reunion, who knows. And when the lights went out, she grabbed the candlestick on the table. And whacked. Was it Mr. Black? I can't remember. In the back of the head. And sadly made him unconscious and non-breathing. And she did this in the ballroom whilst he was trying to play the 
entertainer on the piano. What a horrible, horrible woman. And we accuse her. Let's find out. Were we right? One out of three. Two out of three. And three out of three. We did it, guys. We did it. We solved the crime. Died away ASMR. Detective on point. <laughs> well, guys, that is going to be just about it for tonight's ASMR gaming video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. I actually had so much fun making this video. I have to stream this one night or do a part two. It's been amazing, and I really hope that you guys have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to drop a big thumbs up to let me know. Really helps out and is a great way to show your support. I want to thank you all for watching. Let me know if you want to see more of this. And also let me know in the comments what other kinds of games you would like to see me play here on the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And sleep well guys. Good night.